Hi, I'm Adam Olin, CEO of Russell and Spark, a branding and marketing agency that specializes in independent schools. I'm also a former communications director for a 250-year-old Quaker school, so I know that as an enrollment or admissions professional, you're working hard to get ready for Open House. Congratulations on making it to the final installment of the best Open House ever, our short course for admissions teams. Today, we're going deeper, and I'm going to share an idea with you that brings together the principles we've discussed over the past four weeks and more. What I'm about to share is the kind of thing we generally reserve for paying clients in an engagement, but I'd like everyone who took this course to experience their best prospecting season ever, so here we go. Before I proceed, I should preface this with the fact that different marketing tactics suit different school cultures. We generally don't share ideas without deeply understanding a school's brand first, but after five weeks together, I'm trusting you to use the principles here as lightly or as vigorously as fits your institution. The idea I'd like you to consider is a gift for every open house attendee, designed and delivered in a specific way to take advantage of several principles of behavioral economics. The gift is a learning journal. This is a beautifully designed notebook printed on high quality paper. Now you could give this gift when people leave your open house. That activates the principle of reciprocity, namely that anything of value freely given inculcates an inner need to return the favor. But you can get even more mileage out of this by sending this gift with a handwritten thank you note from a member of your admissions team or parent volunteer on the Monday morning after open house. All of your competitors will send people away with something, a brochure, a course catalog, etc. Having your gift arrive in the mail a couple of days later will make it stand out from the other materials and may keep it out of the pile of admissions stuff that can feel overwhelming. This journal should invite the student to write down their current school experience and articulate how it could be better. If they were in charge, what would the school day be like? Note that you're not pitching your school here, just inviting them to think about and compare the present with a better future of their own imagining. The fact that they are making this comparison reignites the drawing the bow effect of emotional comparison and doing it in writing with a physical object powerfully activates the endowment effect that shows as soon as we hold an object in our hands, we begin to think of it as ours. And once we commit our feelings to paper, we invest them with value. Both of these give people a sense that the idea in question, attending your school, already belongs to them. We value the things we own roughly twice as much as things we could get, so the more a prospect revisits mental images of attending your school, the more it feels like they own it. And since you gave them the journal, it's fair to ask how they enjoyed your open house. You could ask as an open-ended question, but it might be worth getting specific. How did they feel about the most emotional part of their visit? And what did they think of the ending? If you made those experiences special, these questions will remind your prospect of their wonderful visit and strengthen their memory of your open house, even as your competitors' experiences start to run together. Lastly, invite them to share these reflections with you as the last step in a process that leads to some kind of reward for completion. You know, free t-shirt or a hat or a piece of school gear, or we can get more creative together. Whether or not they actually share, the sense that the task isn't complete leverages the Zygarnik effect, which shows that people remember unfinished tasks more easily than completed ones. The task with your competitors was go to open house. Check. Done. Your task? Go to open house and complete the learning journal. This keeps your school top of mind, which makes the process of choosing where to apply first that much easier. As I mentioned before, this idea combines several powerful psychological principles in one vehicle that keeps your school salient for prospects, but it's not right for every school culture. For that, we need to explore the nuances of your community to know what feels right for your brand. That's it. Congratulations. You made it to the end of the best open house ever short course. If you'd like to learn more about how we can fill your admissions funnel, visit admissions.russellandspark.com. Now, go be awesome and have the best open house ever.